Hey, Merry Christmas. This is Chuck Englert, Spring Piston Rifle Fever, and Lone Wolf Strength Training. Uh, I have been getting questions about these two rifles periodically. The HW80, the Byrock HW80. This is 22 caliber, has a Vortex spring in it, and it has a homemade um, spring guide in it for me. It's a guide sham, I should say which makes it shoot way smoother. And then I have the HW95. This is the Luxus version. So it has the shorter barrel. It's still a fairly decent size length of a barrel. I don't remember exactly what it is. I really don't care either. Uh, it's not that important how long it is. Um, I get questions between what rifle should I get? Should I get the HW95 or HW80. Now it really depends what you want out of your rifle. It depends whether you want to plink cans at 100 yards or not, or you are just going to be shooting up close. So if I was wanting something that I could reach out and hit cans at 100 plus yards, um, it would be the HW80 in fact power. Fact power is anything that's over 12 foot pounds of energy. Uh, over in England, they have a uh, regulation that they can only have 20, uh, 12 foot pounds of energy. Well, this one's shooting 22 foot pounds of energy, so the pellet's going to go a lot faster, so it's going to fly a lot flatter. Um, in 177, um, it would fly even faster. But <laughs> this is this is your all-out hunter and. This has a very has very good open sights also. Um, they are precision sights. They're way better than Gamo, way better than um, Diana RWS rifles. So this doesn't have a scope on it right now because uh, my HW30S is borrowing it. But I do have a scope coming in very soon that I will do a review on that also. Unfortunately, this rifle does have some love marks from me handling it and using it and taking it apart and putting it back together. But if you were just going to shoot, oh, 50 yards, um, well, if you're going to plink like cans and it's not too windy out, this is the fact version uh, HW95. But it does have the old standard spring from Virock in it. Uh, it actually broke several coils off. All I did was heat it up, bend it flat, sand it down, smooth it out, put it back in there, and instead of getting a set 17 and a half foot pounds of energy, it dropped down between the upper 15s and 16 foot pounds of energy. This shoots a Crossman Premier hollow point pellet uh, anywhere from 700 feet per second to seven, maybe about 720, depending on the temperature and weather. So this is 22 caliber version. This is a very sweet rifle. So you can see that this is very similar to my picture here where I was just pointing. Uh, I was just looking through the sights and I, I took a screenshot of that. But if I was just shooting close range, this is the one that I would choose. Uh, the HW80, um, it has a lot further reachability. This is more narrow, this is easier to handle, and if I was going to just do target practice 50 yards and under and it wasn't windy out, I would choose this. The pellet's going to be going slower in this, but it's just as accurate. Um, both rifles definitely love the H&N Field Target Trophy pellets. I shoot the 5.54 uh, head size. I was going to show you a tin. Well, here's a tin right here. It's empty, but this pellet. The... Byrock rifles love those pellets and they're cheap. They're way cheaper than the JSB pellets or the Air Arms pellets, so that's really good. I also have been getting some questions about, yeah, that's, oh, that's a hair on it. I also been getting some questions about the HW77. I'm not going to drag that up here for this video, but uh, is it loud? All of them have some loudness to it. Uh, if you go to a lighter spring with a good guides in it say you choose for instance something that's a 12 foot pound spring conversion kit 
um, and you have a good tight spring guide on it, which is going to prevent the spring from going pong, it's going to be a little more quiet also. Um, stealth is very important when it comes to um, not upsetting neighbors and such things as that. Um, but one important thing with that is out of sight, out of mind. You understand what I'm saying? Be careful, be safe. Merry Christmas, God bless you all, and you have a great Christmas with your family.